Maybe you're starting a new YouTube channel. Or maybe you have some free time and you want to stream a little on Twitch. Or maybe you want to improve the way you look on Zoom or Skype calls. It's 2024, who uses Skype? Whatever your situation is, if you want to connect a camera to your PC, you basically have three options. The first one is to use a professional camera, like a DSLR or something like that. The problem with it is that you also need some additional gear like capturing card or some dummy batteries if you want to stream for more than one hour. You quickly realize it's inconvenient and expensive. So we move to our second option and it's to use a webcam. Now these are pretty simple. If you have a laptop, you already have one built in, but you know, they are usually very bad and sometimes inconveniently placed. Like the webcam in my Huawei MateBook Pro, where the webcam is hidden under one of the keys of the keyboard. You might think it's a really smart idea, until you see yourself from this perspective. Do not recommend. So, as an alternative, you can buy one of these. You just plug it into your computer via USB cable, and that's it. Easy. In this case, it's a Logitech C922 Pro. It is currently priced at about $100 in the United States, and this model offers full HD 1080p video at 30fps or 720p at 60fps. It includes features like autofocus, light correction, and has an integrated stereo microphone, but as I will soon show you, none of these features are good at all. It's because webcam sensors are really small and typically not the best quality, unless they are really expensive. So here we are. The good, but inconvenient and expensive, and on the opposite spectrum, you have something that's pretty cheap and easy to use, but terrible in quality. But there is a third option, something in a golden middle, and you might already have everything you need. I'm talking of course about your smartphone. It has a killer video camera, one that is almost as good as a typical DSLR, and I'm going to show you how to set it up to be as easy to use as your built-in webcam. Now there are two great ways to do that. Unfortunately, the first one only works with iPhones at the moment. But don't worry, if you're an Android user, just use timestamps in the description to skip to the Android solution. And to be honest, it might be even better than the first one. So see you there. Now to those of you who are still interested in learning about the first solution, let's jump into it. First, go ahead and search up EpochCam on the App Store. For the first try, just grab the free version to test if everything works. And if it does, then you can consider buying the $8 version. And it's important to note that you only pay it once, and it's yours forever. No subscriptions or anything. We like that. And I'm going to show you today what both versions have to offer, so we can decide what works for you. The free version has this white icon, and the paid version has this blue background, and it says Pro. Then on your streaming PC, you'll download the free Elgato Camera Hub. I'll link everything in the description. Now if you're using Windows, you're also gonna have to download iTunes. If you're using Mac, no need to worry. Once you have them both downloaded, you have two options. You can connect your iPhone to your PC via cable or connect it through Wi-Fi. Just make sure that your phone and your streaming PC or Mac are connected to the same network. So if you prefer the 5G network, just make sure that they are both connected to the 5G. If they are, open both apps and let the phone app start searching for your PC. Did it work? Congrats! Now, in the free version, you have limited options. You can choose between 720p and 180p 30fps. Unfortunately, you get this Elgato logo in the middle, but I have some pro tips for you. Just wear a white t-shirt and adjust the brightness and contrast a little so it's less visible. You can also switch between front and back camera. And you get all the different Snapchat powered AR filters. Like for example, you can look like a Pixar character, or you can see what you would look like if you were bald. You can also blur the background or change it to a green screen. So then in the OBS, you can key out the green color and make the background invisible. It's not perfect, but if you don't move too much, it looks quite decent. You can also change the filters straight from the phone app. Now when we move to the Epoch Cam Pro, you can remove this annoying watermark and you get access to some additional options. If your camera has some wide angle or telephoto lenses, you can now access them via this app. Plus, you now get access to the higher frame rate in Full HD resolution. You can also zoom, tilt, and move around the frame 
and if you're shooting a top-down or something and you need to control the focus, you can now do that here. You can also play a little with exposure, shutter settings or ISO or change the white balance. It's useful when you want to look like Shrek. You can also see how asymmetrical your face is if you flip your camera too many times in a row. So that was Epoch Cam from Elgato. It's easy to set up and instantly improves the quality of your streaming. The free version would be almost perfect if not for the watermark, but $8 for a lifetime access? It's not that bad. Now, let's move to the second solution. When you launch the Camo app on both your smartphone and a PC, you get a very similar menu to the one in the Epoch Cam, but with much more options being unlocked in the free version. Also, the watermark can be easily removed. It works like an overlay and you can actually modify it in the menu by putting your own text, your profile picture, or you could even design and upload your own overlay. I really like the fact that you can control the focus by just clicking on a screen. And there is an option in this app which allows you to zoom in and let it follow your face. Unlike the Epoch Cam, you can switch between different lenses in the free version, but and this is the biggest downside of the camo app, you limit it to 720p. You could unlock 1080p or even 4K resolution, but this would cost you a lot. And I'm gonna talk about it soon. Now, is this a deal breaker? In some situations, sure it is. But let me compare the 720p resolution here to the full HD resolution in the Logitech webcam. I would very much prefer the camo app quality and maybe upscale it a little if that's possible, rather than using this footage. In the app, you can also play around with brightness, saturation and colors. You can use the spotlight feature that separates you from the background by dimming everything around you. And you get some snapshot powered filters like emoji faces and some animated effects. Yes, you can create a green screen or just blur the background if you don't want to show what's behind you. And that's pretty much it. I mean, for a free app, you get some really nice features and you can use your own phone's camera. But yeah, the resolution limit, it kinda sucks. If you want to upgrade it, you could upgrade to the Camo Pro, but the price is, it's $9 monthly, $50 per year, or if you want a lifetime subscription, you can pay 100. Plus, if you live outside the US, you need to add 20% tax to it. So technically, it would be significantly better than what you get with this webcam. That's pretty much the same price. But that's also a lot more than the $8 that you have to pay for the pro version of the Epoch cam from Elgato. Anyway, I hope you learned something today. Let me know if you're gonna try those apps, or maybe you have some better solutions that you want me to check. I'll read all the comments. And as usual, I am Miles, you're now miles ahead, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.